Welcome to Daily Armor. Today we're going to be in Ephesians chapter 6, fi finishing up the very end of it. Um, previous, yesterday, we talked about um, how the truth um, is where we need to start. And it's where we need to start every day. We need to start every day with the truth. We need to be in His Word, being exposed to the truth. That first truth that's revealed to us is that we, uh, you know, that we're a sinner and that we need to be saved, but that Jesus is that way. That he God made a way for us to be saved. He made us a, He made a way for us to be right with Him, and um, that we're exposed to that truth. And is the Holy Spirit in, is inviting us um, to accept the Savior? Then the that truth can set us free. Um, and so, as we are looking at how, as a Christian, how as one that's already saved, already walking with the Lord already on their way to heaven, already know that they're, you know, I know my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and it's it's not, I don't have any security in, in myself, but I know what God did, and He did it. I didn't do it. He did it, and so I know that I'm secure because of Him, um, and to put on that piece of armor that's that breastplate. Now, when you think about a breastplate, when you're thinking about an armor, um, and I actually, you know, Googled breastplate to look at some different breastplates that were out there, some different pieces of armor, because um, it's a good visual. And as I was looking at, you know, you, you think about it, it's covering the whole torso. Um, or we have so many vital organs in that torso that needs to be protected. Um, we've got the heart, the stomach, the liver, the lungs, um, I mean, I'm not, I didn't, you know, I didn't take anatomy, so I don't know all of those, you know, every single um, bodily organ that's that's within that torso, but, you know, I mean, the pancreas and, I mean, just so many things. So, and we know that if the heart was punctured, if they, somebody could puncture the lungs, if, if they could, you know, destroy the liver, if the kidneys... Um, you know, which, you know, a lot of times you'll see the armor is, is covering the whole torso, front and back. And so we, we got to keep those kidneys protected. And these are all things that are vital to our life, to our existence, that we need to protect these things. And the, when we think about that breastplate of righteousness, we need to protect our fellowship with the Lord. Now, it's not protecting our relationship with God. I don't have to protect my relationship with God. I'm not going to stop being a child of the King. I'm not going to stop being his child. Um, he said he would never, never, ever, ever, never leave me. He was never going to stop being my father. He's never going to stop, no matter what happens, no matter what takes place. And I have that confidence. But... I can do things that affect our fellowship, our relationship. There can be things that are going to be, um, and when you have a relationship with an earthly father, it can be on, you know, it could be the dad or it could be the daughter, you know, the, the parent or the, you know, it could be the spouse. We can have conflict with, with in, our, in our earthly relationships, but we're talking about our heavenly relationship with God himself. And he's perfect on, in, on his end. He's perfect. He's holy. He's righteous. Um, he's, you know, the beginning, the end. He, is, he doesn't have a beginning. He is never going to have an end. He is consistent. He cannot change. He cannot lie. We know all these things about the Lord. So if there's any kind of conflict, it's going to be found on my part. Um, on your part, my, I don't know, on our end, it's going to be on our end. So it's our responsibility to be aware of things that would please him and things that would displease him. And you're going to find that when you get in your Bibles and read, when you show up at church and you hear the man of God, who's got a message that God has burned on his heart to share and he doesn't know who it's for. And you don't know what you need. I don't know what I need. I was just praying a little bit ago and I was like, Lord, I don't know what I need in, in this area and that area. I, I'm guessing. I'm just guessing at so many things. But I was saying, Lord, but I know you know. And Lord, I'm asking for you to show me and you to help me. And he does that all the time by taking me to his word, by um, listening to the man of God that's that's got a message on his heart that the God's given him 
uh, to share specific for whatever, you know, whatever service um, that I get to attend to. And I like this on the, on when we, so we think about that breastplate, you know, it's covering that whole torso. Those vital is very, very important. Very important that that is protected. It's very important that we put on that breastplate of righteousness and protect our fellowship with God. Um, what is the righteousness? Now, this is not my righteousness, but it's the righteousness of Jesus Christ. It's what, in other words, um, I like this in the definition. It said the conditions that are acceptable to God. Now, I might think something's fine. I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, that ain't no big deal. That's not the way God sees things. He says, well, that is a big deal. I'm letting you know. So he's letting me know all the time in his word, you know, this is this is a big deal. I take this very seriously. He takes it very seriously if that we have unforgiveness, that we're not willing to forgive somebody for, I mean, it could be something simple. I've seen somebody harbor un unforgiveness for, um, you know, the simplest things, and I can see them harbor uh, unforgiveness for the most horrible, excruciatingly painful things, and it is very difficult to forgive. But God, is, he exposes us to the truth in his word, and he reveals that, yes, we know what God says. Yes, we know what his word says, but when we want to stick a but, and we think, well, it doesn't apply to us, it doesn't apply to me, and but I'm not able to, Lord. Well, this is, you know, I'm not wired that way. I'm not made that way. I don't have that ability. The Lord's like, I'm not using, the, the Lord's saying, that's not an excuse that I will accept. He's saying that righteousness means that, that it's conditions that he accepts. And he only accepts those conditions that are right in his eyes. That's what's gonna, that's what he's gonna accept. And so what it's done over um, you know, the last 24 years is he is just constantly exposing me to um, you know, how I should give, how I should forgive, um, how what I should do with my anger how I should handle those th those things um, when somebody's wronged me or um, somebody has um, offended me. What do I do about it? How do I handle it? And he tells me to pray for my enemies. And I'm like, what? Pray for them. You know, those are things that over the last 24 years, the Lord has, has brought, you know, to my attention. He exposed me to the truth. And then he showed me something that I wasn't quite right with that the conditions I didn't have an excuse that was worthy that he was like you've been forgiven much and he reminds me that if I want to still get maintain that relationship or the the, the fellowship having that a, a good relationship not that I'm going to lose it I can't lose my relationship with God but I can I can he can be upset with me I can hinder that fellowship um, he's, he's going to show me, he's doing this for my growth. Um, he's doing this for my good and for his glory. Um, and it's healthy. It's a sign of a healthy Christian. So, you know, you know, sometimes I, you know, I know that, that sometimes y'all think I'm hard on myself. Maybe I am, but it's, I don't look at it as um, as being beaten up by the Word of God. I look at the Word of God as this is how I grow. This is how I get better. This is how I have that joy and have that peace. When I'm angry and I don't want to be angry, when I'm bitter and I don't want to be bitter, when I am, um, you know, when I am finding myself being um, defensive or I'm finding myself holding on to things and afraid to let go of them. Um, and then I realized, well, my security is not really in those things anyway. It's okay to let go of them, um, you know, and, and God's going to take care of my needs and he's going to supply what I need. And, and he even gives me, you know, way beyond that. Um, he is so good to me. And he's saying to me all the time, Tracy, you've been, you know, you've been forgiven of so much. You got to forgive. You know, or he'll show, he, I remember the, and I've shared this probably months and months ago about um, having some problem with some bitterness. And it was making me, I was staying upset. I was staying um, frustrated. I didn't have any joy during that time that I was bitter. Um, I was easily set off, easily angered. 
on edge, just so miserable. And then the God exposes it through the preaching of the man of God that is the root of bitterness. And we got to dig it out. And he's like, I want, I want you to dig it out. You need to bring it and ask for forgiveness for that root of bitterness. You need to let it go. You need to forgive. And then don't bring it back up. And he dealt with me. And I took it to the altar that night. And I just cried out unto the Lord and asked for forgiveness. And I'm telling you, the, none of the circumstances changed. But he changed me. That receiving that forgiveness from him, that that finally realizing what's the problem, what's the problem, only to find out it was me and it was my bitterness. It wasn't the actions of anybody else. It was me. And the Lord helped me. And it's th there's such freedom in that. It's it's so wonderful. The Lord's like, if if somebody has wronged you, you let me handle it. He says, vengeance is of the Lord. He's like, I can handle that. You can't. It's going to bother you. It's going to, it's going to, uh, you know, hinder you. It's going to hinder fellowship. It's going to hinder your, um, you know, it's going to hinder your joy, your peace. It's going to hinder all that. You need to let it go. Let me handle it. Let me take care of it. And I did. And he most assuredly did. He has taken care of it over and over and time and time again. And I'm just so thankful and I'm just so grateful. So when we are exposed to the truth and we, you know, when we go to his word every day, first thing every day, go to him. And then when we are exposed to that truth, it's going to lead you to pray. So there you're, you're, you're in God's word every day. You're, you're talking to the father every day, man, what wonderful pieces of armor to put on. And then, um, as we lead into tomorrow, um, you know, we're going to have our feet shod. And we got we got to get we got to get some things going. We got to he's then we're ready and we're prepared for what he's got for us. And we got to get on all the rest of the pieces of armor. So let's not miss out on all the rest of those pieces. But we get when we get our we we get our minds exposed to the truth. We get our heart right with the Lord. In other words, the conditions are acceptable to Him, not what's acceptable to me or what's acceptable to you. I, I you know I don't have to have all that, but He does. He does. He has to have um, that perfect integrity, that that the the correctness has to be right, the justice. Um, he is a just God, and he wants my actions to reflect that and my attitude. And, I mean, my he doesn't want me to be fearful. I mean, there's so much that he exposes to us um, by getting in his word and then taking that to him in prayer and saying, Lord, I want to... I want to do those things that are right in your eyes. I want to give that forgiveness. I want to get. I want to dig out that root of bitterness. I want to uh, put some action to my prayers. I want to, um, you know, acknowledge that yes, Lord, this is making me afraid. But Lord, I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm not going to let it no longer um, make me um, so fearful that I'm frozen in fear and I can't even move. Lord, I'm going to step out in faith and follow you, and be obedient. I mean, we, you know. All of these topics, all of these things that I have struggles with, all of those things that you have struggles with is found in his word. Don't be afraid. I know some people are like, well, if I don't get in there, then I don't, you know, I don't have to know the truth. Um, you know, ignorance is bliss. I'm just choose to be ignorant. No, the true freedom is in his word. The true freedom is the truth shall set us free. And it's free to, to, accept, to accept Jesus if you're lost. It's free to... I ask for that forgiveness if you if is if he's revealed something in his word that he wants you to um to get right he wants you to he he wants to grow us and he wants to help us and change us and he's still working on me and I am so thankful that he is I look forward to seeing you again soon thank you for joining me.